restful Christmas season. Today is the bittersweet day where we're going to be taking down all of our beloved Christmas decor. So definitely not the most fun task, but hopefully we can do it together. If you still haven't taken down yours, we can tag team it and hopefully make it a bit more fun. And as I'm putting everything away today and tidying up, I'm going to be daydreaming of spring days in the garden, watermelon season, peony season, long summer nights, and all of the goodness that's to come because of course with every season and time of year there are just beautiful elements that we can focus on. So even though I definitely am sad to put away all of our cozy Christmas decor, I have an expectant heart for what's to come so hopefully we can focus on that together. And the game plan today, I want to start by putting away all of our big pieces of decor like our Christmas trees because once we put those away, I feel like that'll give us momentum and we'll feel very accomplished because it'll start looking a bit more simplistic around here. So we'll start with that. I want to do a load of laundry, wash all of our Christmas blankets and bedding so that they're all fresh for the new year and hopefully we'll be able to fit everything in the boxes that we had before. I feel like we're going to need to start another box, especially with the bedding we had in our bedroom. I don't know if I want to keep it in the garage or if I should keep it inside our home. I don't know. I'm still working through some things in our head, but excited to spend time with you all today and let's start the undecorating process. Brandon got me this milkweed and monarch butterfly towel for Christmas and I love it. It is so precious and gets me excited to hopefully have more butterflies join us in the garden soon. I have a bunch of tinsel on our Christmas tree still and I debated should I just take it off, pull it off and throw it away. But I think I'm just going to leave it on the tree. Of course, some will fall down on the floor once I put it away in the box, but some of it will stick and then I'll just use it again for next year. stuck in this little nook of the vacuum. I really do not know how I'm gonna get it out. It's very nuzzled in there and I feel like the only way to get it out is to break it. Stay tuned. I'm happy to report that no bracelets were harmed in the making of this cleaning video. We got it out pretty seamlessly but I was just being too gentle with it because I didn't want to break it but Brandon just basically pulled it out and it was fine. <laughs> having this little blanket it's actually a tablecloth we found at the antique store I have loved having this at the back of the couch I think when we decorate for springtime I'm gonna try to find a nice pastel thin blanket that we can use for the back of the couch to add some color
wanted to keep the winter print that we had on the TV, but I decided to switch it to this one I found on Etsy. It was a digital download of this art and it is so beautiful and calming and definitely more of a spring palette, but I think it really complements the space. to say goodbye to the Christmas mugs until next year. Brandon's sad. He's in the kitchen and he's sad about the Christmas stuff going away. I'm going to put these little salt and pepper shakers that we thrifted in this big gingerbread mug so that we can kind of consolidate and save on room. And I did fill these up with cinnamon and cacao powder, but I pretty much emptied them out. So I'm just going to have them rest in there. It's so cute. It's like they're in their little home. They're hibernating for the rest of the year. And then these sprinkles, I just stored them in our bins last year, but might as well just put them in the mugs because that saves a lot of space. Same with this ribbon and the spoons because I always use that for our coffee bar station. So it'll all be in its place for when we pull it out next year and I actually just put it at the top of this cabinet so I don't put it in the garage in our bins but I just transfer all of our mugs that we use for all of the other seasons to the bottom shelf and then all the Christmas ones go on the tippity top. time styling the floating shelves probably within the next couple of weeks and then closer to springtime we'll give it a little spring overlay but I wanted to show you this orange set I got from the antique store it is so special I popped in the antique store a few times and I noticed it every time but it wasn't until the third time that I saw it that I just knew I wanted to take it home because it's so special and really symbolizes life in Florida and growing up in Florida and just kind of, yeah, symbolizes that for me. So I love this and I think it'll be perfect to display on the floating shelves for spring and summer. ended up doing really well it did fade a bit since it is a live wreath it is kind of crusty and faded but it still looked really pretty for the whole season so I'm thankful for that and I'm just gonna take off the garland because we used a garland to make this wreath and we'll toss the live garland it still looks pretty but I think it'll just fade out throughout the rest of the year so we won't re be able to reuse that but this stick wreath that we used to form the shape is the same one we used for our autumn DIY wreath. So I definitely want to keep that and hopefully we can make a spring wreath because I think that'd be such a fun tradition to make a or craft a DIY wreath for each season. So we'll plan to do that and we'll use this wreath mold as our base.
we're making really good progress around here. The only sections I have left are my office, our little Christmas card section, outside on the porch, and our bedroom. So we're getting really close. It feels really nice and fresh. And for our Christmas cards, someone recommended a really neat idea to take all of the Christmas cards you received for the year and take a basically like a binder clip, a round circular clip that and then you just punch a hole in all of the Christmas cards you received and then you can put it out on your coffee table or a bookshelf for the next year and then you can have this whole collection of Christmas cards throughout the years and I love that idea. I wish I I'm gonna ask Brandon if he has one in his office but I wish I got the material for that so we could do that today but we'll definitely do that soon because I just think that's such a brilliant idea. binder clip or the binder hook whatever this is called and, these and the afternoon latte we're using macadamia milk again we were on a whole mix kick but yeah it's just, it's more difficult to froth I need to get the barista version of the macadamia milk but it will still be so delicious and we can work on our little DIY project especially because I just have it all piled up right here on the dining table but we're getting closer and the plan is I'm gonna do a quick vacuum I'll definitely need to vacuum again once we put everything away but just so that it's not too overwhelming I'm gonna do a quick vacuum and then I want to go ahead and shower and eat dinner get all cozy and then I'll start organizing everything into the bins and first and foremost before I do those things I actually want to I'm I, I was gonna say plant, but it's not really planting, but I'm working on some propagations up in the laundry room and I have a few that are just really beautiful. So in this vase that I have on our coffee table in the living room, I had some different pine and more winter dried florals on display, but I think I'm gonna take one of the propagation 
uh, stems and plant it right here. So that'll be a nice little pop of green for our living area. I want to do I still have some stuff on the porch so I'm gonna clear that out and then I want to install the new gift wrapping organization station I have it just came in the mail so hopefully that won't be too crazy to set up hopefully hoping it's smooth and seamless and then I also I was trying to find this last night but I forgot where I put this but then I found it this morning this is a ginormous vacuum seal bag, and I have never used a vacuum seal bag before, but this arrived with our bench cushions that we got recently. I don't know if I've showed you. I've showed you on Instagram, but in case you missed it, these are the bench cushions we have. I really, really love them, but that's what they arrived in, that vacuum seal bag, so I thought I would save it and try to reuse it for the Christmas textiles and pillows and all of that. So I already packed up all of our pillows, but I think most of them are easy to get. So I'm gonna try to see how this works. Also, I'm hoping our vacuum will work well with it. I've never, again, I've never tried to do this. I think I'm gonna have to take off the attachment, but we'll see, never know till you try it. Maybe I'll just try with some of the stuff I already have out so that if it doesn't work, I'm not like taking out the pillows that I already have packed up. too tall for this storage rack downstairs at least but I just brought it up upstairs and it fits the doors upstairs because the ceilings are a lot taller downstairs so I'm trying to debate what I want to do I can either put it upstairs definitely not as convenient because I just keep all of our craft stuff downstairs or I could try to finesse it somehow to get it to stay down here. I feel like I'm leaning towards that just because I know I'll use it so much more if I have it downstairs or I'll just, it'll just be so much more convenient to have it downstairs. And I could look online to see, it's just the long rod that isn't long enough. It only fits the doors upstairs. So they probably do have a longer rod, but I don't want to I just really do not feel like going through the process of returning it or getting another one. So we're gonna try to DIY a little or finagle it so that it can work downstairs. We'll see. Okay, unfortunately it is not looking good because basically if I don't have that firm base at the bottom, every time we close and shut the door it just like really bangs. So that's quite unpleasant. So I'm just gonna put it upstairs. It'll still work, it's just not ideal, but I think it'll still be a good system and I still want to add more storage down here and replace that little bookcase we have and take that out of the closet because it's too cute and add more 
more storage that makes more sense and can take up like more shelves that actually reach the top of the ceiling in here even though it is kind of a funky funky shape so we'll move this upstairs I tried to secure it with fishing line at the bottom but yeah just really is not the right setup okay I did more digging and I saw that they do have the right size of the part I need a much taller piece that'll fit our door perfectly so silly me for not measuring but I bought it all in a whole gift wrap storage set so I'm just like oh yeah that'll work perfectly but no I definitely need a bigger part but thankfully they have some in stock at the container store near me so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up early next week and hopefully we'll finish this project soon I actually have never been to the container store and I've never this is the first time I've ordered anything from them so we'll get to experience the store for the first time together anyways so to be continued your girl is back in business i went to the container store this morning it was very satisfying i bought a few other containers i'm going to add into the pantry but of course our main item that we had on our list was getting the correct size of this alpha storage unit so as you can see well you can't fully see it in the frame but this is the perfect size for our door so now i just need to secure it on the top and bottom and then the fun part is going to be adding in all of our little boxes and attachments and then organizing all of the goodies and i just feel like it's going to add so much storage and i like i said i still want to add more shelves within the closet but i feel like this is going to make a world of difference so i'm excited by this this is so handy and everything is easily visible I have some party supplies at the top rack and I still have quite a bit of room even above this but of course I'd have to get a stool out every time I want to reach that so this is just more accessible for me but I also have this section which is probably my favorite I love these little cubbies that attach nicely and then these hooks are really nice for string tape hole punch scissors with these little butterfly embellishments I have so sweet I'm gonna have too much fun wrapping gifts now and it's just a lot more clean of a space I will say I didn't really leave room for bags I just have all the gift bags over on that shelf still but I could use one of these hooks that are currently is holding this twine um, I could use that to hold all the bags so that's something to think about. Maybe I'll switch that out and then put some bags at the top and then just loop them all around that hook. That might be a bit more practical and make more sense. I could even put some behind here and hang that on where this, um, what is this called, fishing line is hanging. So I'm going to think about that. And I also, this is definitely a lot of improvement, but I also want to organize this canvas storage holder I have as well. This is super handy. I got this from World Market and it was a lot more affordable too. So this is a great option and I want to go through and sort 
sort it and figure out if this makes the most sense because I just basically pulled out anything that I thought would work well with our new storage but still gotta do some organizing but I'm very pleased with how this turned out that's gonna be it for today's video though I really hope you all enjoyed it and that you're feeling rested and refreshed for the new year I'm really excited to spend time with you all and make memories together but I hope you're well and I cannot wait to see you next bye